Hello, my name is Miss Kimmel and today I'm going to teach you how to access the school databases. So let's get started. First, let's ask what are databases? Databases are usually a large collection of data organized especially for rapid search and retrieval as by a computer. So that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. We're looking at databases online where you can search and retrieve information at your computer. Why? Another question we can ask is why, Ms. Kimmel, would we use a library database instead of just Google searching the internet? Well, using this chart right here from Brigham Young University, the library databases can are shown to be more evaluated for authority and accuracy. They're more stable to use. They are paid by the library, so you can have access to scholarly information. The databases are easily organized into subject guides, and that's kind of what we're going to be talking about more today. And library databases offer you a quick um, search for a topic to find in articles. The internet, however, looks a little bit different. Some resources on the internet are free, but sometimes you have to pay for them. Information is not always accurate and can be incorrect, misleading, and biased. Websites can come and go. People can delete websites whenever they want. And the internet is so large. There's so much information there where when you search, if you don't know exactly what you're searching for, it can become overwhelming with tons of results and not a really quick, narrow way to a specific topic. Learning outcomes I expect you to have today is students will be able to show the steps on how to access the school databases. Students will search for a resource using the school databases and students will be able to apply their learned skill to search new information in the school databases. So let's get started. So first of all, did you know that Mesquite ISD provides us with free access to online resources and databases? So if you didn't realize that, yes, our school library does ac have access to resources and databases, and so we're going to go through of how to get to our specific resources and databases today. So let's take a look. So before we get started, first thing I have to have you log into the Mesquite portal. We've done this before, but let's make sure if you forgot, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step way to get to the Mesquite portal. So first of all, you're going to go to www.mesquiteisd.org, then click on Staff Portal midway on the webpage. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a square that says Staff Portal. You're going to click on that, and then from there, you're going to select the icon that looks like a thumbprint with a check mark in the middle. So select on the icon on the webpage, and it will lead you to the login page for the Mesquite Portal. So using your username and password, go ahead and log in. I'll wait. Is everyone logged in? So we're in. So first of all, what do you notice? If you look on the web page, you should be able to notice tons of different icons and pictures of different resources that the library offers to you. Now, a lot of these are apps that we use in class, but if you scroll down, you should see a section that looks like a bunch of blue folders. And in the front of it, it says library resources. So we're going to go through quickly, pretty quick, on how to determine which database is what in these folders. So here we have the folders. And to open these folders, we're just going to click on the icon picture. And you're going to select the first one, which we're going to talk about library, career, and testing. So every time I talk about each folder, I'm not going to keep going back and forth to show you where to click. I'll just keep going and explain. But if you want to follow along by clicking back and forth to, the, to your Mesquite portal and then back to the database folder, you're more than welcome to it. So the first folder we're clicking on is Library, Career, and Testing. This one is mostly for test strategies, 
that teachers can give you. This one also has a database based on career interest surveys, job finding tools, and career resources. So if you're looking into a database that can help you study for a test or look for a career that you might like, this is the folder for you. In this folder, we have the library CTE. So this one's just specifically about Chilton's Automotive Library database and the EBSCO Education eBooks, which is mostly tools that teachers or older students will be using. This folder contains the library find a book folder and is included with the digital library, Tumble Books app, EBSCO eBooks, library online catalog, and National Geographic Kids app, Britannica Fundamentals for Pre-K. So this one is mostly for if you're looking for eBooks or books to check out through the library and all these options are for students to look up actual physical books or online books that they can read. The next folder is the library find information. So this one's where we start getting to stuff that y'all will be using today. So sometimes we don't need a book about a topic. We just need to find an article or something written or information written about a topic. So for here, we have the Britannica Encyclopedias. You have um, the Gale in Context Elementary. You have Pebble Go, Gale Middle School, and the SRS Discoverer. So here you can just find general information about a lot of different topics. And the ages are for middle school elementary range. For this folder, it is about general research. And so this folder is mostly for high school research. And so you have Gale News, Gale High School Edition, Gale Academic One File, Gale Opposing Viewpoints, Britannica High School. And then you also have a Spanish version of Gale listed as a database. Now, you can also use this folder if you're looking up for news stories. And so I do think middle school students might be able to use these databases but for the most part, they are geared towards high school level reading. This library folder is about geography and cultures. So if you're specifically looking up information that talks about the earth, environment, and geography, or about different countries and cultures and states, this databases could be where you search. And then the next are going to be for the library history databases. So geography and history, I know sometimes we teach it together. This, in this case, these databases are separated into different topics. So the library history folder is the specifically American history, ancient and medieval history, and modern world history. And so if you're looking for anything about history class, these are the databases you can search through first. And then you also have folders for the images and music category. So if you're only looking for maybe a sound or a song that you want to use for a project, or if you want to look for pictures that you want to put into a presentation, then these databases are good for you to use. Then this folder has a literacy research folder. These databases have information of full text short stories, plays, poems, critical analysis essays, and more. And so it's basically anything that you learn in English class. Library Science and Health database is going to be focused on anything science or health related. So if you want to look up information about health and wellness, then they have a teen health and wellness database for you to look up, the Gale Health and Wellness, the Gale Science in Context, and Gale Environmental Studies. So these databases are specifically for the topics of science and health. And then the next resource is going to be mostly for teacher use. So anytime teachers want to learn new strategies to teach students, they can come to this database and find different teacher ideas. This is typically not for students to use unless you're trying to research on how to be a good teacher. And then the last database that we're going to talk about is Learn360. 
which is streaming videos, learning games, interactive lessons, infographics, and more that are in this database. So now that we've gone through the basic information of what these databases have, let's go through what we're going to do today. For the assignment today, what you're going to do is you're going to use a database by picking a topic. So let's practice. Right here, I picked the topic George Washington. Now, there is some information that I know about George Washington, like he was the first president of the United States. He fought in the American Revolution. He's a historical figure. So if I know some prior knowledge or prior information about a topic, then that will help me figure out what database I want to pick. So let's go ahead and take a look at the database. Looking at the databases, we can see that all different folders have different topics. We've already gone through all the topics, so which one do you think would work best with George Washington? That's right, library history. So let's go ahead and click on this folder and let's see which database specifically would work best with George so, now, knowing the prior knowledge about George Washington, we know he was a historical figure, we also know that he was a U.S. president, and so we can go ahead and assume that he is a part of American history. Once I click on that, I will now need to search my topic. So, on the search engine, I am going to search George Washington. Then... Once I searched George Washington, I received about 5,115 results. This is a lot of results, but hopefully by scrolling through our results, we'll be able to find pretty quickly two sources that talk about George Washington, the U.S. first president. When I scrolled through my results, I found two sources that related to George Washington. One is Washington George, and the second one was Political Thought of George Washington. These two sources are going to be needed for me to complete my assessment. Now, you're going to try. So for the assessment today, you're going to select one topic from a list I'm going to give you on your handout. Once you select the topic, you're going to write it down on your handout, and you're going to then now look at the databases. You're going to select the correct database and also write that down on your handout. Then you're going to search the topic. Once you search the topic, you're going to collect two relatable sources by writing down the title of those sources. At the end, you're going to explain why you've chosen that database, and then you're going to reflect on your findings of the topic. So I'm going to give out the handout, and then you're going to begin. Here's a rubric for you to look at while you are working. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'm going to be walking around and checking to make sure everyone knows how to use a database and where to find them. 